I'm cooking three quarters of a pound of pasta for a delicious grilled tomato and corn pasta. Wait till you try it. It's so easy, so summery, so fantastic. And the recipe comes from our July, August issue of Everyday Food available for free on iTunes and on our website. I just went ahead and pre-cooked my pasta so that I could preheat my grill. I need to use the same burners. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on high and then get my tomatoes and corn ready to grill. Just go ahead and cut the tomatoes in half and remove the core. Just a little V notch to get them out. And that's it, you don't need to do any more prep. These are gonna grill just halved like this. Drizzle with a little bit of oil. And the same thing for three ears of corn coat. These will be grilled whole. Just rub them with a little bit of oil too. Nice and coated, but not too much. A couple tablespoons is all, and then season it with salt. A little bit of salt. You can season more when you go on the grill too. It's probably easier actually. Now that I'm doing it, I realize you can't toss this in a bowl. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's hot. I aggressively heated it on high. You can brush your grill with a little bit of oil if you feel like it's necessary, but you've already oiled your veg, but better safe than sorry. Plus, don't you like seeing me through all the smoke? Oh, it gets so smoky in here. I'm surprised they don't kick us out. And now you wanna just grill everything till they're nice and charred on all sides. Should take about six to eight minutes total, so keep an eye on them. Clearly you can do this outside and it's probably preferred, but hey, I'm in New York City. I can't go outside. Sprinkle with a little salt. I mean, I did do a little salt, but, well, you know I have a heavy hand with salt. I'm always getting accused of it. So I have to live up to my reputation. After about four minutes, you can see that they're nice and char-y. I know char-y is not a word. It might take a little bit less time if you're doing this outside over a real direct grill, but that's about how long it takes on a grill pan. And you wanna just turn them in about four more minutes. A nice, lightly cooked, fast, summery pasta. Now I'm gonna get some basil ready. I need a half a cup of basil. Torn, so just tear up your basil leaves. This is beautiful, amazingly waftable basil. Ugh, basil, where have you been all my life? I love you so. And then just tear it up straight into a bowl. I'm just using the bowl that I already used to oil my tomatoes and corn in. Previously used bowl. And then I think it's time I can get my corn off the grill. Off the grill, that's enough char for me. Theoretically, you should let this cool a little bit before you cut it up. I'm gonna see how short of a time I can let it cool before I cut. What do we think, one minute, two minutes? You don't even really need to wait that long to cut up your tomatoes because you can use your tongs to hold them in place and they're super easy to cut and let the corn cool off while you're doing that. They're sort of semi-cooked, they're like charred and smoky on the outside, but maintain some of the texture on the inside, which is really nice. Add your tomatoes to the bowl with the basil. As soon as you add those warm tomatoes to the basil, you might get some wafting. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but it's a pretty good guess. Yeah, look, mini wafting. Then now the corn should be cool enough and you can cut that off the cob. Cutting cooked corn off the cob is actually easier than raw corn because it doesn't fly all over the place as much. We've devised all these ways of unmessifying, like doing it into a bunt pan, doing it on a tray. It's not really necessary with cooked corn. It's all neat and contained. Then the corn can also go into the bowl. Gosh, this is great. It's so vegetable -y and awesome. You can eat this all summer long. Add some olive oil, about two tablespoons. One, two, salt, pepper, and then the pasta goes in. I would eat this salad without the pasta, I'm telling you, it's so good. It's so fresh, you can keep it in your fridge, stir it into pasta salad. I mean, it's really fantastic and you can eat this warm, you can eat it cold. I'm gonna just say this, you might wanna hold the basil out and add it at the last minute if you're making it ahead, just because basil has a tendency to get a little black, especially in the fridge or with acid, and there's acid in the tomatoes, so. You know what's wafting right now? Char smell. That's nice. I am not complaining. And then I have a cup of fresh ricotta. I'm gonna stir about half of that in to the pasta just to make a little bit of a creamy sauce and then I'll dollop the rest on top. You don't have to do this 
but it does coat the pasta nicely. Transfer to serving bowl, if you so desire. If you guys were here with me, you would be smiling already, or you would be salivating, I don't know, one or the other. Dollop the rest of the cheese on top, the remaining half cup of ricotta. You could totally use pecorino or parm here. I wouldn't use a half a, a cup, but you could just use those instead if you don't like your fresh cheese. Maybe a little fresh basil on top for beautifulness. <laughs> and there you are, picnic ready. Really easy, super fast, good any time, but especially excellent for picnics. Cause it's summer and you wanna eat outside, that's why. I'm not waiting though. Oh, yeah baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.